What's up guys? I'm Hunter Coyle from the Fitness Center. Here to help you guys out, try to figure something out for you guys. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna go through an orientation. We're gonna do a brief overview, how things in the Fitness Center work, um, when it comes to uh, cardio, when it comes to machines, cable crossover machines, everything. Just so you guys can come up here, you can kill it, feel good, not have to worry about anything. So let's get started. First, this is a linear machine. With linear machines, it's one plane of motion. Um, we have lots of these around. Basically, I think we have one for every body part, for sure. This one in particular, just totally picked a random one. Um, very simple, they're all pretty standard. Um, usually, when it comes to the weight, you, there's the pin here. You can adjust the weight accordingly. Very simple, from 10, this one goes down to 150. Each one's different also. Most of them, you can adjust the seat or this piece, luckily on this one, you can do both. On this one, it's pretty simple. See this lever, lift it up. You can adjust it up and down the way you want it. This one, you see it lifts up. You can move it front, forward, back, all depends. Pretty much everyone's pretty standard. Usually you can rather, as I said, adjust the chest or the back piece or the seat. Um, and this one's simple, just to sit down. That's gonna be a row, straight back. Also with these machines, uh, there's gonna be kind of a diagram that shows you exactly what you're doing. This one just happens to work traps, rhomboids, and lats. There's always a picture on them to describe it. I don't wanna waste your time going through every machine, you know what I'm saying, but at least you have an idea of what we got here. Every machine's pretty much standard, so now we'll move on. Okay. Big thing here, these are called the cable crossover machines. A lot of people love to use these things. You can use these for everything. I love using them, especially if I'm mixing up different things. Like say one day, you know, I did dumbbell flies, you know, for chest. Today I might want to do them on the cable crossover. Triceps, biceps, back, shoulders, everything. You can do it on here. Great, great machine. On the cable crossover, it's very simple. You have this little piece here. This pin adjusts up and down. So you can literally do absolutely everything on this lift. Pull the pin, it adjusts up and down. Very simple, right? Not too hard. Same thing goes here. Pretty much all the lifts are gonna be the same here on the machines. Pull the pin, adjust the weight. Very simple. And uh, this goes by 10 pound increments until you get past uh, 42 and a half, or sorry, 35, then it goes by seven and a half pounds. Say, ah, uh, five pounds is too light, 10 pounds is too heavy, not a problem. We got a little weight adjustment here, get it right in the center, boom, put it in there, lift's gonna be perfect. Perfect. These are cool, I like this, cause say here, I can do a tricep pull down, I can immediately adjust it, bring it down, holy cow, now I'm doing a bicep curl. Very simple, right? Pretty cool, benefit of this too, Boom, we got a pull-up bar. It's a win, we got a pull-up bar too. Awesome. We'll move on. I guess just kind of show you guys around quick too. Bench presses. We got many of them. Shouldn't be an issue, there's always a bench press open. When it gets to be the school year, around four or five o'clock, good luck getting a bench press. Otherwise, it's always open. Um, this is a good machine too, I suppose. People not people know about. The leg sled. This baby is great. A lot of people don't quite know how to work this machine, which is fine. Not a big deal. So this one, sit back. No, it's not a delt or shoulder workout. It's a leg press, right? <laughs> Down here, this is gonna be the lever that adjusts exactly what you're gonna be doing. So you're gonna push up on it first, pull the lever out. Now you can perform the leg. It's kind of stiff. Probably need to get a little bit of grease on her. One machine too, I want you guys to be aware about is the Smith machine. <clears throat> Reason being, um, because a lot of people love to use the Smith machine for squats, for bench press. I highly suggest don't do that. I would say only use the Smith machine for um, for like an upright row, for delts and shoulders. Maybe calf raises is good too. Um, I will for behind the head shoulder presses just because I really really try to isolate my posterior delt and my shoulders. 
but otherwise I would try to stay away from this. First off, people like to use this saying they have knee problems and different problems or bad shoulders. They try to use this because it really restricts your movements. Don't. Stay away from it. Go on a straight bench press or do maybe just a dumbbell squat instead. This is very bad for you when it comes to those lifts because, I mean, you're, very, you're restricting your movements. Not good. You can hurt yourself. We don't want you to do that. It's not fun, right? No one wants to get hurt. No one wants to get hurt. Ab area. You know, pretty self-explanatory. We got everything you need for abs. Row machine. I don't think people realize the benefits of the row machine. You need. You only hear, you can only be here for 10 minutes at a time. Row for 10 minutes. You will be dead. Bomb. Different machines here. Once again, it's machines for everything. Very simple. Luckily, it's not busy here today. I'd hate to be disrupting people. Um, so we have different, an assort, different assortment of ellipticals here for sure. We have ellipticals that can also be um, like stair climbers. So basic ellipticals basic ellipticals and then we get over here to the pre-core ones these ones are awesome because you can use different things for them you can do a basic back and forth movement or you can kick your legs up and down basically you can move your legs any way you want it's totally up to you I love it because sometimes you know like I've had different kind of joint you know joints will hurt a little bit get on here move around a little bit before and after squats get the blood flowing feel awesome a lot of people love this just to kind of warm up completely agree I love it these are our woodways. These are, I guess I clearly see, it's like a treadmill with a track. I think as well as a track, it's actually a lot better for your joints and it feels more like you're actually running outside than actually does a standard treadmill. Also, it's what the NFL players use. Pretty cool. Want to feel like a football player for a day? Hop on a woodway, feel good. Um, bikes, we have a large array of bikes. Very simple as well. I guess a lot of people, when they come here, have one issue, and that's adjusting the seat. Yes, it is kind of stiff. If you need help, please ask. But you pull the pin out, and it lifts up and down. It can be kind of stiff, so just give her a little pull. You'll get her to go. Once again, standard ellipticals here. And uh, the last big one I want to show you are the treadmills. <clears throat> Treadmills are great, and surprisingly, a lot of people have issues when it comes to working on the treadmills. Um, you can put, you have the incline here, so you can adjust how high up it goes, which is really cool. You know, if you wanted to try to push it a little bit, like uphill. It's really great in the quads, calves, and on the butt. Phenomenal for that. Um, emergency stop here, push that down, lift to reset. The machine will stop automatically as soon as you press that. When you get going, Usually you can just hit go. Let's see if I try it right now. Just you guys get a general idea. It's very simple, but you know, gotta know it. Easy. Press up. I can go up on incline like that. Cool down. Once you're kinda done with your workout and you wanna walk a little bit, boom, hit cool down. Wanna stop, hit stop, or if you need to stop right at that minute, emergency stop. Cool thing I like to say about uh, these, those tre or those ellipticals and the bikes is um, the car our cardio theater. So with our cardio theater, it's really cool. We basically you got TV, you got your basic cable channels on there. You got like 70 channels or something like that. It's awesome. A lot of people really like that. It's a big hit. Um, and with almost all of them too, you can plug in your earbuds and connect to the TVs that are up top. Say you want to be watching what's on there, you don't want to hear anybody else, boom, there you go, very simple. So that's that stuff. Um, we have something for everybody here, and if you seriously don't know or have any questions, please ask. We want everyone to be able to come up here, feel good, and kill it. You know, no excuses, we're gonna come up here, we're gonna kill it. So, you know, if you feel like you're not really sure what to do, we just need a direction, a lift, please let us know, let us know. Big thing too, that we'll show, is lockers. Lockers are a big deal. Even if you watch this video, you learn nothing, but hopefully you learn how to at least how to use the lockers, right? It saves us a lot of help too, especially when it's a new school year. A lot of people are coming up here. Lockers are very simple. The lockers are completely free. If you go to the locker rooms, you'll have to pay like 25 cents or something. Up here, it's free. 
Cause I don't know about you, I need my quarters for laundry money. You know, that's, that's the college, college kid life. Close it like that, when it's open like this, that means it's open. When you see it close like that, that means it's locked. And hopefully someone will have their name on here. So, like this, close it. Oh, all right. There, that one's worked. Some of these are really stiff. Type in a four digit code of your choice. One, two, three, four, boom. Hopefully yours isn't quite that simple. One, two, three, four, boom. Locker opens up. So you notice I typed in that same code again. The locker opened. Now the code's reset. Someone can put their own code in. Very cool, very easy. Like I said, we have these on here, these little pads. So you can put your name on it, or your, put a code word, draw a picture, I don't know. Just so you know it's yours, because if you forget your locker, we can open one locker, and then that's it. Then you have to wait a long time. So just so you know. But besides that, um, we have a lot of, lot of stuff we offer here at SESU on campus for Campus Rec. I mean, we have outdoor endeavors. They do super, super cool stuff. We have a pool. We got the rock wall. Massage, you wanna get a massage? We have a massage studio. We got martial arts. We have two group fitness studios. We have everything from yoga, Zumba, Pilates, boot camps, biking, all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. We have lots of options. And especially in the next few years here, a lot of cool new things happening. Make sure you come check it out. Field House, we got it all. We have everything here for someone. You know, like we got something for everybody, so. I'm Andre Goyle, I'm the personal trainer here at SSU. If you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Tiptoes, you're gonna get hockey, hot balance.